Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to be the next um, Stan Lee by creating my own universe and such, and in the hopes of being as successful as he was. And I hope you don't mind these noise cancelling muffs. I'm trying to avoid any interferences for this footage here. So for this particular footage, I'm going to introduce a kaiju character known as the Alpha Mer. And if you guys bear with me, I'm going to read an introductory, and I hope you guys would have a decent comprehension of it and such. So bear with me. Alpha Mer, number one, the beginning. Created and copyrighted by Levi Corsi Ames, July 20th, 2015. To begin the story, we start traveling across the Arctic Circle until we see a military base, where the employees were testing out their hydrogen bombs on some icebergs. But little did they know that it would lead to devastation. After a series of hydrogen bombs struck the icebergs, they heard a sound that seemed to be like a cross between a foghorn and a bellowing wail. And then, they then found that they inadvertently awakened a massive mermaid from her suspended animation in the ice. She has bright blue eyes, blonde hair and chin length, a turquoise colored tail, a retractable sail on her back, and is about 50 miles long. Freed at last, the creature destroyed the base and the few survivors died in the cold water, regretting their lack of foresight. Almost an hour later, the creature arrived in Miami and started destroying the city. Luckily, Kaijericus, the queen of the mutants, finally arrived and found that the creature fully dwarfed her. Who and what are you, ma'am? Kaijericus asked her. And a threat responded to her through her cerebral communication. I am the Alpha Mer, or Martha, if you will. I am the ancestor of all the Mermians in this planet. I was contained in the iceberg since the Ice Age until I was freed by some mere humans. Let me do my thing, and you will be spared. How about the humans? I've come to save them from their undeserving doom, Martha, Kajerika said. Offended by the statement, Martha stated, If you truly care for the humans, then let's duke it out. See who's truly the champion of this joint. By that moment, the Alpha Mer grabbed Kajerika and attempted to eat her. Before she was devoured, though, Kajerika noticed her opponent's uvula, and blasted it with her nuclear breath. Out of her grasp, Kaijericus got onto the Alpha Mer's back as she was vomiting. By that point, Kaijericus blasted her opponent's second brain with both her solar vision and her nuclear breath. Experiencing such morbid agony from the strike, Martha roared in pain and dragged herself back into the Atlantic Ocean to heal. Happy of her first official victory, Kaijericus left the city as the Blue Man clan arrived to repair the damage created. The Alpha Mer didn't die, but decided to protect mankind instead, feeling it to be an easier objective. The end. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the storyline and such. It's, it's, I did all that I can to keep it efficient, you know how it is. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice, you know. And uh, until next time, I'm Leviathan. Hope you guys have a fine time in the long run and such. And until then, in transmission.